Although Earth today has a spectacular range of living plant and animal life, the vast majority of life forms that ever existed are extinct and have been for many millions of years. Thus, fossil remains of many strange and seemingly exotic extinct creatures such as ammonites, pterosaurs, and non-avian dinosaurs are a fascinating sight to look at. Most fossils form from the remains of hard parts of various creatures, which is why calcite-rich shells are often left behind in the fossil record, while softer tissues are much more rare. With this being said, it might come as a surprise that some of these fossils are not a dull white color, but are instead naturally metallic and also have a golden coloration, all without the interference of humans. What you are looking at is a fossil brachiopod 386 million years in age, which was at one point naturally replaced with pyrite, often referred to as fool's gold, with the fossil shell retaining much of its original shape. A second example is this 100 million year old ammonite that was not fully replaced with pyrite, but when sliced in half, the metallic sheen of fool's gold becomes all the more prominent. These two examples represent a more spectacular example of a process referred to as petrification, where over a time span of millions of years in a piecemeal fashion, one mineral is slowly replaced by another. You could also think of this process as the organic equivalent of a mineral pseudomorph. Two examples of non-organic pseudomorphs include this piece of pyrite which over time turned into limonite, and this piece of garnet which turned into chlorite, all the while retaining the shape of the original crystal. A more common organic fossil which has undergone petrification is known as petrified wood. A sub-variety of this, found primarily in Arizona, has since in its deposition 220 million years ago have had the original cells and tree trunk replaced with varieties of colorful agate and quartz, both of which have a chemical formula of SiO2. The number of minerals which can replace fossils is surprisingly large, with another example involving incredibly rare instances where common or precious opal replaces the hard shell of a fossil. Such pieces are very rare and valuable. But how did pyrite end up replacing various hard-shelled creatures and in what environment? This process began many tens of millions of years ago when hard-shelled creatures fell into a layer of clay and silt at moderate depths in the ocean or at shallower depths adjacent to a delta where river water flowed into it depositing fine material. As hard calcite-bearing shelled creatures naturally died, their shells fell to the bottom. Over time, these were buried by additional layers of sediment in what could best be described as a low oxygen environment. Since the layer that would eventually become black shale contained a fairly large amount of decaying organic matter, oxygen was used up in this process and as a result of the almost no oxygen environment, adjacent iron and sulfur molecules began to interact with one another, eventually forming small crystals of pyrite. When ocean water eventually infiltrated sections of sediments with pyrite in it, a chemical reaction occurred turning that same ocean water acidic. This ocean water also carried with it pieces of pyrite which began dissolving sections of the basic pH calcite shell while on the way replacing bits of the shell with pyrite. After this process continued for millions of years, the shell was fully replaced with pyrite, creating a metallic golden fossil of fool's gold that was iron sulfide. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.